Hey guys, it's me Em and welcome back to the start of a brand new weekly reading vlog. Today is Monday the 19th of April and I'm so excited for this week because it is a fairly important week in the book world you could say. So tomorrow Crown of Gilded Bones comes out and that is the third book in the From Blood and Ash series. So excited. You can't pre-order it if you're international so we do have to just like be there to get it before it sells out. So that's gonna be nerve-wracking but I feel like I'm up to the challenge. I have my alarm set for 11.59 tonight and we're ready to go. And also on Friday the Shadow and Bone TV show comes out which is crazy because it looks so good. And yeah so there's a lot in this vlog I hope anyways and let me show you my TBR because I'm currently reading two books that I hope to finish before Crown of Gilded Bones arrives if I manage to get a copy of course so let me show you my TBR. Firstly one of the books that I'm reading is The Score by L. Kennedy which is the third off-campus book and I'm loving this series so so much this book is amazing they seem to be getting better and better as the series goes on. I'm currently 23% of the way through and I feel like I'm going to be able to finish this fairly fast and then the other book that I am reading that I actually Actually only picked up last night at like 10 p.m. and I'm already almost halfway through is Sweet and Bitter Magic by Adrienne Tooley. I am loving this book. I picked it up because I am taking part in the From Blood and Ash readathon and it fits the majority of the prompts that I have left so I decided to pick it up on a whim. Also my nails match the cover which I always love when that happens. So I picked it up. I was like you know what this could be good. It could be fast. It's not too long. When I tell you this gave the vibes of I feel like I could stay up all night and read this and be completely content, but alas I didn't because I needed to get up for school this morning. But I am on page 139 and I'm loving it so much and I have my beautiful bookmark from Tiny Young Creations and I am loving this book so much. I will get more into the synopsis and what it's about later on, but that is my TBR. I feel like it's fairly manageable, you know, very purple stack today. And yeah, that is it. Hope you enjoy the video. Can hear my mom playing Harry Styles songs in the living room. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's just my influence in this household. You know, it's my brand. Okay, so hello besties. It is now 11.59 on the 19th and Crown of Gilded Bones comes out in a minute but will it be on Amazon is the thing and I'm thinking no but we're gonna go on this experience together because I can't it's midnight okay hold on I'm gonna go check I know it's not gonna be there but you know I'm gonna check anyways okay it's not there but it's fine so I'm gonna check again before I go to sleep when I wake up in the morning I'm gonna check hourly because I am nothing if not dedicated to this cause and stubborn. I was raised well. Good morning friends, happy Tuesday. So I'm here with my morning coffee and I'm actually reading. I struggle to read during the day because in my head I have to have everything that I need to have done for the day done before I can allow myself to read and relax. But I'm trying not to do that today because I really need to read, I really want to read and that's what I'm doing. So Crown of Gilded Bones is still not available. I was checking through like comments on Jennifer L. Armentrout's post and they said that it wasn't gonna go up at midnight which that's clear because it's like midday but they said at some stage throughout the day so i'm checking every 30 minutes i was gonna check every hour but then i was like that's not really enough if it goes on sale like five minutes after the hour it's gonna be gone by the next hour so i feel like 30 minutes is an okay amount also anytime i pick up my phone i'm gonna check as well i have my book here i am on page 145 and i'm loving it so much and then i found this cute witchy ambience which i love and then i also have my witch's brew cup because secretly i think i might be a witch Okay guys, so I wanted to talk a little bit about Sweet and Bitter Magic for a few minutes because I don't think I've gone into my detailed thoughts or what this is about. So this is essentially about two 
witches well one of them is a witch and one of them is a source and the source essentially she can see all magic she can amplify magic but she can't conduct the magic herself and she has hidden this all her life that she's a source because she didn't want to leave her father who was kind of ill after her mother died but i think it was more kind of like mental illness he's quite i don't want to say manipulative but he was telling ren like i will die if you leave me please don't leave me never leave me and she felt as though she couldn't leave him and understandably so then we have tamsin who is a witch and she was banished from her coven at 12 years old for practicing in dark magic and she was cursed that she could never feel love and then there's like a plague ravaging the village now for those of you wondering they don't go into too much detail about the plague but it does remind me a lot of covid um but it's not it's not very detailed don't get turned off by that factor and then they need to kind of team up and go on this adventure to try and stop the plague essentially and it's so amazing because they're they have very very different personalities and it's wonderful seeing how they bring out certain personality traits in each other and how they're getting more comfortable around each other and how as much as Tamsin can't feel love and can't kind of feel any feelings she's thinking differently and it's really lovely to see and this just makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside so I picked up this book and because it has sprayed edges I didn't want to annotate it because I wanted it to be like pristine and whatever and I, I didn't think I needed to annotate it but let me tell you this book I literally was like two pages in and I already had to tab things so I've actually ended up tabbing them but like not not bringing them out of the page I don't know if you can see that just having them on the edge of the page and there's so many passages in here that have genuinely spoken to me and I really was not expecting this book to not only have amazing characters have an amazing plot but also have amazing passages of writing that actually spoke to me this has not happened since I read Addie LaRue and I don't know if I can read them out because I feel like that would be spoilery but there's so many things in here there was talking about social anxiety and how like with a lack of confidence you kind of want to like kind of curl in on yourself and make yourself smaller and Tamsin was the opposite of that and always walking like she had so much confidence and it was I don't know how to explain it but like I have tabbed with a dark purple so many things I was on a call with Sarah Sophia and Bisma when I started this book and I literally consumed the first half of this book and I'm trying to like not do the same to the second one but I also really want to and it's so amazing like I, ca I can't describe how much I'm loving this book and I know I always get comments and it's like every single video that I watch of yours I end up buying books and it's like yeah because I have taste and I'm sorry but this book is so good like you will not regret it if you read Cryer's War which I recommended to you like a couple weeks ago buy this because you're gonna love this if you love Cryer's War not that they're the same stories or the same plots or anything because they're not they're very different but just the vibes Ugh, this book just makes me want to cry and read it again for the first time and want to binge it all in one sitting but also savor it and not read it for a while so that I can just stay where I am in the story but also I want to know how it ends. I genuinely have not felt as captivated and as connected to a book in a long time and it's just there's so many elements to this as well and I'm sorry for talking about this for so long but there are so many elements. Tamsin has a lot of trauma in her past and a lot of things that we kind of are finding out about and a lot of mystery as well as to like what really has happened, who certain people were and everything like that. But then Ren is just this complete breath of fresh air for Tamsin and for us to read about and it's just it's so good and also like I found myself getting genuinely sad because at the start when like the plague is being introduced there's obviously a couple sad moments and I truly don't know how I went this entire time without reading this book I love it so much I, I want what these characters have I want to be these characters and I just want to live in this book. I want to live in this world. Because I mean, there's a plague here, there's a plague there. It's not really that different. And maybe if you asked me a few years ago, do you want to go into a book world that has a, an infectious disease? No, but I mean, it's more fun than this infectious disease that we have. So 
why not you know i just can't describe everybody pause this video if you can please go get yourself a copy of this book whether it's an e-copy a library copy a physical copy an audiobook a kindle book whatever try to get this book if you can because it's so good and i am now not sorry that i have two editions because i need it if you have any recommendations for me that are kind of like this book they can be witchy books they can be sapphic books literally just any recommendations that you think I would like based on this book and based on Cryer's War, please let me know down in the comments because I feel like this is my, my new favorite genre. So anyways, I've been talking for 10 minutes about this book. Gonna stop now. Am I? I don't know. But yeah, that is it. I am so happy. I just love this book so much. I love these characters with my whole heart and I am gonna go start a fan page for them. Um, plot twist? What the? fuck i don't know i just reached chapter 14 and i literally have like five minutes before i need to leave the house so i really have to stop reading but oh my fucking god like i feel like this was something that i did think of this like plot twist was something that i did potentially think of not that it's necessarily predictable or a cliche but i mean it kind of is like it has happened in other books before but i didn't actually think it was going to happen even though now it's kind of like yeah that does make sense that this would be the plot twist that would happen i don't want to leave i don't want to have to go do the things that i need to do because i just want to sit and read this book i'm now on page 192 and i've already convinced some people to buy and read this book today so i feel like i'm doing the country a service really it's it's what needs to be done also look at this beautiful naked hardcover i need to stop reading right now so i can get ready to go but i can't i am so excited i mean i saw it coming kind of but like i didn't know it was gonna happen i just kind of thought it could happen like it would be a good plot twist good morning happy wednesday so i've put these sock curls in my hair last night i took a shower at like 1am because that's the kind of mentally ill we are today and i'm gonna take them out right now so i thought i would show you because i want to see how this turns out i did this lots during the first lockdown and in the summer but my hair was so much longer then and i'm very interested to see how this turns out yes that worked perfectly i love them like i know they're quite tight curls but i think they're perfect oh my god and heatless honestly 10 out of 10 recommend friends happy thursday is it a happy thursday i don't know so i woke up this morning feeling really under the weather and i feel like i'm coming down with something it's bad bitch fever it could be rona i mean it's probably not rona and it's just like a cold or something but i'm literally doing everything everything within my power to not succumb to it like i'm literally drinking hot lemon drinks i am I'm doing everything i can because i just really don't want to be sick and i i don't want to have a cold because then i have to go get a test and i don't want to do that because it's probably just a cold so that is how my day is going not great one would say there was a google meet that i was meant to go to that there was literally no excuse for me to not go to it because i'm at home and i had 46 messages from one of my friends and a missed call but this bitch this bitch was in the living room eating leftover mcdonald's so i can't even I can't even give an excuse for that because you know what? We're living it out here, so. But anyways, what I wanted to talk about reading wise, last night at like one o'clock in the morning, I finished Sweet and Bitter Magic by Adrian Tooley. And oh my God, this book, I love it so much. I already went on a 10 minute tangent yesterday or the day before about how Everyone needs to go buy this book. Everyone needs to go read this book. Also, we appreciate that my nails match the cover. Anyways, so I finished this at like one o'clock in the morning because I was uploading a video and I 
I turned the last page just as that video went up and I felt like I could achieve the world, let me tell you. So I gave this one 5 out of 5 stars. I do think I preferred the first half of the book to the second half of the book, but I didn't dislike either of them. Like, I loved both of them, but I definitely preferred the atmosphere and the vibes of the first half of the book. I don't know, I felt like everything wrapped up really well, but is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. Like, there was not one thing that ended badly. Everything was very convenient in the end and like bad people just kind of just like was like you know what screw it, we're going to the good side and like I don't know I don't know how I felt about that because I don't know how realistic it would be there was like a fight scene and then after the fight scene everyone was just really calm and really lovable and it's like you literally, literally attempted to kill her two minutes ago why are you hugging her right now I don't know what's going on but honestly I'm still giving it five out of five stars because even though there's some critiques they're not bad things and I really really enjoyed it. I had this book on the couch and my sisters were like picking it up and they were like oh my gosh she's so pretty I need to know about these people and I was like telling them the names of the characters and she was like oh I'd like to be Ren I, I prefer Ren I want to be Ren. It was so cute and I was like you know what you have taste but then how could they miss it with a sister like me. So I really loved this one gave it five out of five stars. To be truthful I don't really know what I'm going to pick up right now because I've been seeing a lot of different books around bookstagram I want to pick them up but I do want to read the score by L Kennedy because it's the third off campus but I feel like that would be a good sick day book because they're very bingeable they're very easy to read there's no magic system so while I'm feeling like okay I kind of want to maybe pick up another fantasy I kind of want to pick up another sapphic fantasy because honestly ugh, it, the vibes. While reading this book, I want to become a witch. I would drop everything right now to become a witch. Like, it's all I want. And this is like my crisis in life because I can't be a witch. I just spilled boiling water over my legs because I became too expressive in my need to become a witch. So I'm gonna go now, stop talking, will update you when I pick another book. That's it. Hope you're having a great Thursday. Probably better than mine. Happy Friday. Uh, welcome to Friday. <laughs> I can't seriously say welcome to Friday without thinking of the Ginny and Georgia Hunter moment where he sends her the video. That's not what I came on to say. So today's Friday. Happy Friday. Welcome to Friday. I am in such a good mood today and I don't want to jinx that but I am in such a happy mood today. This morning my mom had a doctor's appointment. Those things don't necessarily go together. I'm not happy because my mom had a doctor's appointment. And then afterwards we went into town and I got myself a Starbucks. I have not had a Starbucks since the 17th of September 2020. The reason I remember that date so vividly was because it was the last time that I went into town for like a regular day, like a normal relaxing browsing day. And also it was the day that Blood and Honey came out. Anyways, it's just a vivid day in my memory but I got a Starbucks and I was very happy with it and we were just able to like sit outside in the sun and um, just have our Starbucks. It was in a shopping centre though and when I tell you it felt like a zombie apocalypse because we were like the only people in the entire shopping centre which is usually filled with like hundreds of people. It was creepy actually. Like the only shops that were open is one supermarket and the pharmacy and then Starbucks. Also there was a bookshop open and I tried to go in but they had all of the books blocked off, like cordoned off. You couldn't get into the books and I was like why are you open then? Like what is the point of this? But they sell like lotteries and they sell like magazines and school books and stuff so you could get those but you can get books and I'm like well books are essential you know magazines not necessarily. So we had a really great day but I got home uh, to a notification from Amazon that a package had been delivered and I'm like it hasn't though. We don't know. So we're searching for the package. Also I have my a yellow jumper on that I got yesterday and I feel like it's channeling my inner sunshine. Like I don't know what it is. It's just the color yellow and the color pink makes me feel great. So I'm having a great day and it's so strange to be having a nice day. So it's I'm gonna go with it. And yeah, Shadow and Bone came out today. I do have a lot of schoolwork to do. Do I want to do it? No. But do I ever want to do it? No. So I'm not going to do it, but I do have some things that I do need to do. And then I'm going to binge watch Shadow and Bone because the book is still not available on Amazon, Crown of Guilds of Bones, 
I am upset about that, but you know what? It's fine. And yeah, so while I was waiting for my mom in the doctors, I picked up The Midnight Lie. Now, listen, I believe in giving books a fair chance. However, I read two pages. I read two pages and it took me 20 minutes. That seems like a personal record for me in a bad way because like two pages for 20 minutes like, it doesn't necessarily make sense to me what's happening it jumped in in like a weird way it's such a weird way because there's so many characters introduced but yet i don't know our main character's name it's so weird if you've read this book let me know down in the comments does it get good does it get better did you understand it from the start maybe i'm just dumb i don't know but already I really don't get what's going on and I'm not enjoying it in those pages that I read but it was the only book I brought and it's so disappointing because the cover is so nice and it is a sapphic book so I was like this is going to be perfect but I'm really not into it so you know what I'm not going to read it because I don't want to ruin my good reading streak so I don't know what I'm going to read but I'm going to read something uh right now I'm going to stop talking because I do need to take some yearbook photos because I'm doing remote school so I need to do it myself and that's going to be a fun time because I need to find my uniform and I don't think I've worn my uniform since March 2020 it's going to be a little bit of a moment for my self-confidence but we're going to go with it we're going to vibe we're going to love ourselves because you know we've stayed alive this past year that that was risky that was really risky that is an accomplishment and i'm proud that's what i'm gonna do goodbye i'll let you know when i pick another book okay hello so i found the package the postman had delivered it to my grandparents which like i don't think they did it by mistake i think he did it because we weren't home um which is a good idea loki but anyways so i have it here and i'm gonna open it so are we ready this is one that i've pre-ordered and i ordered it in march because I've been so good with book buying this month. Like, I've almost broken it a couple times. And I'm like, you know what? No, I'm just waiting for Crown of Gilded Bones. Which is still not available, by the way. And I'm literally crying inside. I feel like it will be soon, though. Because France, Italy, Spain, and Germany already have it. So we're making our way through the Amazons. Yeah, I'm excited. So this book is the final revival of Opal and Nev. Which is not a typical book that I would choose to read but this one gave me very much Daisy Jones and the Six vibe because it is about a band in the 70s. Oh, it's so filthy. It is so filthy. I don't know if you can see that on camera. You really cannot but it is really <laughs> really dirty anyways so it's like she's a black artist and she's just struggling in the world i think it's in the 70s i don't know why i think it is but i think they were a band and then they come back together in like 2016 and i don't know i'm excited to read it it just came out like a couple days ago or today um and i'm excited because it is kind of told in that interview format like daisy jones was and that's exciting to me because i actually really like daisy jones so i spent so long filming tiktoks for now so i need to get ready to go and i need to go take my freaking pictures hey besties uh remember when i came at you like an hour ago <laughs> saying that i was so happy i'm never gonna say that again because when i tell you my day plummeted from that moment, it's not an exaggeration. Next time someone sees me at Starbucks, call me out. Tell me not to do it because I cannot handle that much iced coffee. Secondly, I have been stalking Amazon for the Crown of Gilded Bones since midnight on the 20th or midnight on the 19th. I don't know which. I have been non-stop checking it. I would say maybe every 30 minutes. Then, guess guess what guess guess what in the 10 minutes between checking it and not checking it it had come into stock then gone out of stock again so um i missed it i actually could cry so after my little crisis because that is what i would call that situation uh i ordered it from amazon spain because why not you know it says it's going to be delivered next thursday i really hope that's accurate because if it gets really delayed i'm going to be so sad but i i don't think it's like out of stock on the uk website i think it's because i'm not actually in the uk it's not showing up for me which is really weird because my only amazon is amazon uk so it's really strange but i mean this whole situation with the book has been 
not normal. And yeah, also I spilled strawberry juice on my new jumper. You know, she was fast asleep and then as soon as I turned the camera on, she's just here. You're so cute. Okay guys, so it is now 11.30 and I am about to start watching Shadow and Bone. Don't know why I decided to wait until late at night to do it, but I feel like it adds to the experience. So I've made my room all cozy. I have my bookshelf lights turned on. I also have, I'll try to show you the roof. I don't know how to show you the roof. Um, I don't know if you can see, but there's like, I have a projector that like puts like stars to the ceiling. I also have a candle that I got in an owl grid box that I'm going to use and I'm just so cozy and I'm ready. hello so i'm coming on here to end this vlog out it is 1 a.m technically it's monday now but i refuse it to be the next day until i've slept for that night so it's sunday night i just got off of a really fun live show for katie's birthday from katie's book now and it was so much fun and i got to meet some new amazing people and it was so much fun i really enjoyed it but i am so tired. To wrap up my reading for this week, I read Sweet and Bitter Magic. I read like another 20% of the score. And then I started Bone Crier's Moon, which is there, but it's behind me. Do I have the energy to go pick that up? No, I do not. So I actually read a lot this week and I also was fangirling over Crown of Gilded Bones and trying to get a copy very, very desperately. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to stick around and see some more content from me. Stay amazing, stay kind, and I'll see you in the next one.